So this question is a diagram question. So I know that because of this graph provided here, really. So any um, visual, any question that provides a visual input or some visual data, I'm going to call a diagram question. So let's take a look at this diagram before we read what the question actually asks for. So the title here says height versus time for a bouncing ball, where the y axis is the height in feet and the x axis is the time in seconds. So let me just see if I can understand the curves here. So it uh, looks like at time zero, the height of the ball is at four feet. Okay, it looks like so maybe someone's holding the ball and then they're gonna drop the ball to let it bounce. It takes about a half a second or so for the ball to hit the ground, right? To get down to a zero height. But then it bounces back up to a little under two and a half feet before falling back down to the ground, right? So, okay, so basically with each of these, we have a bounce, all right, a bounce of the ball, but it starts out at this four feet there. So now that I think I understand what the graph is showing me, now I'm gonna read the question. It says, as part of an experiment, a ball was dropped and allowed to bounce repeatedly off the ground until it came to rest. All right, so I've already taken the time to make sure I understood that. The graph above represents the relationship between the time elapsed after the ball was dropped and the height of the ball above the ground. Okay, so no, no uh, surprises there. Then lastly we see, after it was dropped, how many times was the ball at a height of two feet? Okay, so looking at the graph, the ball was at a height of two feet. I pretty much could just draw a horizontal line through two, all the way to the end here. And then say, well, how many times does my curve that represents the ball's height as it bounces, how many times does that curve cross this red horizontal line? Well, it crosses it right here, right, on that first drop of the ball. Crosses it here on that first kind of bounce back up of the ball. And then here on its way back down after that first, that first bounce. And that's it. It never really reaches that height again. So there are three times that it crosses the height of two feet. And therefore, choice C is the correct answer.